Hey, what's going on? This is Ty with Green Regimen. 2020 has been quite the year thus far, hasn't it? And we are not even completely halfway finished with it yet. Wow, what a year. What a year it's been. So I wanted to make this video for you today because I just needed to get some thoughts out. And I do want you to share this video because I'm sure I'll say something that'll make sense to someone out there, even if it's not you. Somebody else who you pass this video on, it will make sense for, I'm pretty sure. There's so much on my mind. I want to keep things as focused as possible, but I might be all over the place. But what I wanted to share with you is my first experience at a protest. Never been to a protest ever before. Never thought about going to a protest. Never thought that I'd end up ever at a protest in my lifetime, even though I've seen video footage of protests in the past. You never think that you'll be in that situation. However, with the, the recent social situations that we're in now uh, with George Floyd, that situation and a lot of others prior to it, here we are. So, you know, I was driving one day, maybe it was day two after the video footage came out of uh, George Floyd's death. And I was hearing about a lot of the protests in Minneapolis and I noticed that obviously there was writing going on and there's protests going on in Minneapolis. But like two days later, three days later, all of a sudden I'm noticing in different cities in the United States were protesting. And then it just seemed that, OK, this is actually getting bigger now, because every time I look at social media, people send me videos. I would say to myself, wow, I mean, this, like, this, this is, this is, obviously it's a big deal. I mean, we're able to see everything clearly. But I was thinking to myself, wow, I mean, now everyone else, non-black people think this is a big deal now. Which, by the way, I want to thank you so much for the, the direct messages that we get, the DMs. Got a lot of texts asking me, how do I feel? How, how am I doing during this time? I appreciate that because you are taking the time to ask me and I'm going to, I'm just going to tell you how I'm feeling. I'm feeling fantastic right now. That is a word that I use quite often and I don't use it loosely, but I really am because we are in a revolution right now. We're not even in the midst of one. It's actively going on right now. I'm so blessed to be a part of it. And I never thought that I'd ever be talking about this, but here we go. So as I was driving and I know I thought to myself, I'm noticing people are out there protesting. And they're not only protesting because of police brutality and, and the, the awful video that we're seeing, but they're protesting because that could be me out there. There's, there's no difference between George Floyd and myself. That could be me. And I noticed that people were out there protesting. So I decided I was going to go to a protest and it was probably on a Tuesday. I said, okay, tomorrow I'm going to go to a protest. So I asked a friend, you know, if she knew of any places that were, because she's really on social media and I'm not really on social media as much. I kind of just share things with Green Regimen with you and that's it. So she sent me the address of a protest that was in Burbank, California, right next to where I live. So I didn't think much of what the protest was going to be about or like, I should say, but I just wanted to go. So I went by myself. I wanted to experience that by myself. Didn't really want to tell many people I was going and rely on them if they were coming. I didn't necessarily care about that. But I arrived um, at the protest and of course, like usually wherever I go, I bump into someone that I know and the protest is about to start. And he tells me that, you know what? The people who put on this, who organize this protest, they're only 18 and 19 years old. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Because when I was like 18 and 19, I thought I was really doing something, but not compared to these two. So the, the protest was was awesome. We started at a park and we marched to City Hall. And as we're marching to City Hall, now again, I came by myself and I'm just looking at the demographics of the people who are at the protest. And people are holding signs that say Black Lives Matter, no justice, no peace. Remember their names. And these are white people. Sure, there were black people scattered here and there. But the predominant race of this protest were white. Now, maybe I would have seen that on social media, but I wasn't really. I was kind of more paying attention to more of the violent nature of, of some of these protests. 
and I, I was kind of negating the actual people who were there. And when it comes to the violent aspect, as far as I'm concerned, I told you my video might go all over the place. But in terms of the violence, I was fine with that if there was going to be violence because this nation was built on violence. I mean, we can't forget that. The American Revolution, <laughs> Boston Tea Party, we can go on and on. And of course, we do want peaceful protest. And ultimately, that's what we have now. But if you think about the way things worked for a few days, the police officer who murdered George was at home. And then there was riots. And then he got arrested. But then there were still three other officers. And more cities got burned down. More buildings got burned down. I understand innocent business owners. I am one. But it, that's what it took for those other three. So now we have four police officers who are in custody. Sometimes that's what it takes. And we know that we're in the United States of America. And that's just how it works sometimes. So I was okay with anything happening at the at the protest that I was at, but nothing happened. It was fantastic. Let me tell you what did happen though. I'm in a sea, a sea of white people who are screaming at the top of their lungs, black lives matter. So for me, I've never been in a situation like that. As a matter of fact, I recently watched a video of one of Martin Luther King Jr.'s marches. It's, and you can look it up on YouTube. It's called Birmingham Campaign. And I'm watching that video and I'm seeing how the black people that are coming out of church and the predominant race of that protest was black, all black people. All the white people were the police officers and some protesters. And at that event, which was, that was 1963, so 57 years ago, white people were holding signs saying, keep Alabama white. 57 years later, I'm standing next to white people who are holding signs that say black lives matter. So if anyone ever tells you, and this is why I want you to share this video, because if someone tells you, oh, race relations are just awful, they're getting worse, just tell them that obviously you're, you're misinformed. They're not fantastic. They're not great. They might not, they might not even be good. But they're much better than they were in 1963. And we are seeing progression. And how do we see progression? When we see not only black people uh, participating in protests, but non-black people. And that's what we're seeing now. This is this is a big deal. I absolutely love this. Being at the the protest, I'm walking, I'm walking on the sidewalk. There's cars driving by, honking horns. They have signs in their cars. The energy is electrifying. That's the word I've been using when I'm when I'm telling people. It's been electrifying. People asking you if you want water. I mean, people are spending their own money on water. And sure, someone might say that's not a big deal, but they don't necessarily know me or other people. If some people are preparing bags of snacks to give to you. I've never experienced that. That's unbelievable. It, it really is unbelievable. So anyone who ever tells me that things are much worse because I've experienced. And, and since then, I'm going to a protest every day. So this is not just my excited reaction off going to one protest. I, I've been to... Uh, a few protests now. Actually, after this video, I'm going to another one. Yeah, things are changing. Things are changing, whether white supremacy, whether racists like it or not. And they're changing because the children, the grandchildren of white supremacists, of racists, they, they understand that this is not the way to be. This is not the way to go. And this is not what they want to see. So that's another reason why I wanted you to pass this video along, because... You know, some of you are parents of millennials or I believe it's Generation Z. Yeah, I'm so proud of you guys because you are guys and girls, of course, because what you're doing is you're, you're taking a stance. You know, often you hear the millennials are given the tag that they feel entitled, you know, and rightfully um, that's a rightful tag because of, you know, how the, the, the I guess when it comes to in the corporate world, how they're expecting, you know, to have certain things that you know, their parents didn't necessarily work for. I worked for, but they're not. But in this type of situation, social justice, I mean, they're showing us a side of them that we never expected to see. So I salute them. Please continue because you're leading this. Obviously, my generation, you know, did as much as they could, but you are taking it above and beyond. I absolutely love it. So I'm, I thank you for it. And that's why I want you to share this video as well. But that protest, again, 
uh, as I as I stated, I didn't know how the protest was going to be. I, I didn't go into it with too many thoughts in my mind. I just wanted to experience it. And now that I've experienced it, that's why I make this video, because I also want you to experience it as well. I mean, some people say, well, I donate. Um, that's fine. Of course, that that's great. But if you have the time to do it, you should go. If you're a black person, you absolutely should go. I, I don't. I, that could be a, a separate video for me. But if you're a black person, you absolutely should go to to these protests. Um, but a non-black person, like we we need you at these protests. I mean, you're supporting in ways that are just unbelievable, and that's what it's going to take. If white people have been in this position of power for years, then they're the ones who can help. It can help black people in this situation. It's not a situation of where we can just, you know, do it ourselves. You know, there's been instances where we have done ourselves and then those communities were destroyed. So, yeah, um, this is a, this is a collective effort. I received a message today. It was a picture. It was a picture of a protest going on in Armenia. Now, if you don't know where Armenia is, it happens to be in the, on the continent of Asia, but it's near Turkey, uh, Iran, um, not in Africa. So there were no black people at the protest, but they were protesting in front of the U.S. Embassy. And the sign said, Black Lives Matter. There might not be very many black people in Armenia, but they get it. And I wish I could thank them personally for taking the time to walk to or drive to the, the embassy and stand there with these signs that say George, George Floyd's name on it. That's unbelievable. So yeah, so when I tell you I'm doing fantastic, absolutely, this is a revolution. I'm absolutely doing fantastic. I'm just so happy. I'm enamored by the support that's out there. And one thing that really made me happy is that it seems like, it feels like, and it's, it's obvious to me, it's getting bigger. This wasn't a one or two day protest. Like they are still out there. Because change is going to take some time. It has taken time. I mean, this has started since, I mean, the first slaves, at least on record. We're here in 1619, maybe even before that, um, in uh, Jamestown, Virginia. And throughout all that time, it's like over 400 years now, this is where we are. So that's why I say you need to go out to one of these protests. You just need to feel the energy. At this point, you don't necessarily have to worry about the violence, but I really don't want to hear, you know, um, I'm only going to go to the protests if it's going to be peaceful. Um, at this point, you know, they are peaceful, but we needed that unrest in order for us to get the, the actual justice that we've received thus far. We still have a long way to go, obviously, because it's a trial. And again, that's how your United States of America was built <laughs> on violence. So, but I am happy that everything's peaceful. Um, at this point, and hopefully it shall remain that way. But yeah, uh, definitely get out to to some of these protests and just observe what you're seeing. This is unity. We're all standing in solidarity. <sighs> Electrifying. And that's how I feel. I feel empowered. Very, very hopeful. And again, thank you for the support because... You know, when I look at those protests back in the 60s, when I'm seeing all black people in those protests and you see where we are now, I mean, that's how it's been. You know, it's it's uh, it's usually just been us. Of course, there's there's been white people along the way to help non-black people who would help. But now it feels like there's more. It really does, because there is more. And it's starting with the youth. And it's just uh, it's infectious at this point. So. Yeah, I'm happy. Not sure if you've continued to listen to this video. Um, it's all good if you did it. I'm just happy that I'm able to share this with you. And we'll see if I do any other videos about it. But yeah, um, it is time for me to continue. I have to go to another protest. I actually want to go to another protest. Um, things are changing. So go, just go. Check it out for yourself, experience it. Leave me some comments on how you feel about, if you've already gone, Leave, leave me some comments. Let me know how they've been. If you are going to go, just let me know how everything was for you um, at, at, the, uh, at the event, which I'm sure it'll be fantastic. But if anything, it's going to be an experience for you. 
it's one of those things where if you just sit on your couch or in your favorite chair at home and watch it, scroll through different videos on Instagram and think that you understand, I'm telling you, you don't understand. You got to get your butt out the house and you have to go. And then you'll understand. And I understand that everybody can go, but I'm just speaking to the people who can. If you can go, then go. And you'll understand exactly what I mean. All right, there you have it. And um, the revolution is on. See you soon.